Hey guys! Okay, so this is my first video back from my hiatus, so I guess you would call it, on YouTube. Um, I haven't done any videos in, I believe, a year. My last video was a year ago. Basically, I just got so busy with work and life that YouTube just, it wasn't happening. Um, basically, my life was work, eat, sleep. Like, no joke. Uh, it just, you know, consumed my life. I really didn't have any extra time to do anything else when I wasn't working, sleeping, or eating. I was spending time with my boyfriend. I was cleaning um, the house, doing laundry, all that kind of stuff. So I really just didn't have time to give to YouTube, give it my full attention. But now I am currently not working. So I have a ton of free hand time on my hands. And I decided that I really wanted to go towards YouTube full time. So that means consistent videos. I want to try to do it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, always having a new video. Um, that's when a lot of people upload their videos. So I figure, you know, a lot of people, they look to that. They want to know, okay, this day of the week, I'm going to be going to my YouTube subscriptions and I'm going to see, you know, all my favorite YouTubers and be able to watch all the videos at once. Um, knowing a particular day instead of me just uploading sporadically throughout the week, which is what I was doing. I really want to get on a schedule. Um, so I'm going to aim for three videos a week, but no matter what, either Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, there will be a video. M might be two a week, some weeks. I'm not sure how it's going to all work out. But I have already done some previous filming, so there will be videos up right after this. I have a summer tutorial um, that is a look that got really inspired by a Kendall Jenner look. So that will be up. I'm going to have my empties video and then this is going to be my monthly favorites because this will be the first video up and it will be at the end of the month. So that is where I've been. This is my plans. <laughs> so I'm going to be uploading regularly. So I want you guys to comment down below what you want to see. What kind of videos do you want to see? Um, I kind of did go through all my videos in the past and a lot of the main things people wanted to see were tutorials, hauls, empty videos, those kind of things. Um, so if you want to see a particular tutorial, leave it down in the comments below. Um, just let me know what you guys want to see because I want to create content that you guys want to see that you're going to enjoy watching. Also, I have some new lighting going on right now and I don't know like how my first tutorial is gonna look because I did use the new lighting and like trying to set it up getting it to work out right um, I haven't reviewed all the playback yet so we'll see how it goes but if you are a youtuber and you do filming and you have soft boxes let me know how you guys have them set up do you have them set up like behind you beside you like in front of you, like angled in towards you um, when you film. Because right now I have them like beside me. When I filmed my tutorial, I had my ring light in front of me and then I had the soft boxes like coming in at an angle. And I really don't know the proper way of setting all this stuff up properly to give you good quality. So it's like I have the equipment, I just have no clue really how to use it. Um, I might have to get in touch with my photographer friend and see if he can maybe help me out because I'm struggling a bit if you guys can't. But if you do know a good way of setting it up because you make videos yourself, leave it down in the comments below because I'm just really curious because I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys good quality. So, yeah. Alright? So, anyway, on to the favorites. Um, I really don't have a lot. I have absolutely no lip products. But I will start out with skincare because I've been using a few things I've really been liking the last few months. And one of them is a toner. I, so I started to use toners and I picked one up from number 7 at Target, that brand. 
and I've been using that, but I don't feel like it works as good as this one by Pixi. And this is the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner, and I really like this, guys. I feel like within the first few days, I saw a difference. My complexion is definitely more even-toned and brighter, so I really enjoy this, and I will definitely be repurchasing. Another, well, I'll say, because I use these together, so is eye cream. In maybe last fall, I had some real issues with my eyes in particular getting really dry and flaky and it was just not making the eye makeup look good. Like, if you've experienced it, you know what I'm talking about. So I needed some really good moisturizer. So I already had this one by Origins. This is the Eye Doctor Moisture Care for Skin Around Eyes. And this is the one I put on before I apply makeup. So this is like my daily eye cream. But then I went into Sephora because I was like, I need a night eye cream too because I just need double the moisture right now. And I'll take the cap off because the cap's kind of gross. <laughs> um, but I said, what is a really good eye moisturizer? Because I'm experiencing really dry eyes. And the girl at Sephora recommended the Clinique Smart Custom Repair Eye Treatment. And she said a little bit goes a long way, and it definitely does. Um, you only need a tiny little bit. And using the two products together, this one at night and then this one in the morning, my eyes are 100% better. Like, I haven't had that issue ever since. So, I really recommend these. Next is a nail polish, and it's actually the nail polish that I'm wearing right now. And it's the Sinful Color uh, with Gel Tech. And it's from the Kylie collection. And it's the Creme de la Creme color. And I absolutely love this color, guys. It's like a great summer metallic. Like, it's so pretty. I love it. I saw a picture of all these colors swatched on Instagram. And this one just stood out like a sore thumb. And I was like, I need that in my life. So, I have that one. The next is going to be a brush, and I rarely include skincare or brushes in my favorites, if you've ever seen any of my previous favorites, but this brush is like my new bronzing, contouring favorite. I love this thing. I use this every time I use my Kat Von D palette. I'll use it to contour, and then I'll use it to bronze up my skin, but it's the It Cosmetics um, Live Beauty Fully brush and it's number 227 the flawless blush brush so it's technically meant for blush but who actually uses brushes for what they're meant for <laughs> to be real um but it just has a really nice angle to it sorry that's dirty i did use it today um but i love it it just gets in like the hollows like because when i do a contour i like a light contour like i don't like the heavy duty like you can tell you have a major contour going on. Like, I don't like that look. That's off me. I like a soft contour and then a bronzy glow all over. So, this helps me achieve that. So, if you like that kind of look when you do your makeup, then I definitely recommend going to Ulta and picking this up. Next are two foundations. One is Drugstore and one's High End. But they have been, like, my go-to foundations and the first one, I'll start with the high end. The first one's going to be the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love this foundation. I will definitely repurchase this foundation. Um, it doesn't cause me to break out. It's a perfect skin match. And it's medium to full coverage, which I like. If I don't like anything that's less than medium full coverage. Like, I don't have, like, acne scars or massive breakouts all the time. But I just like that flawless looking skin look. If you know what I mean. Like, really don't like to see my actual skin. That sounds so bad. Um, but I like that flawless look if I'm doing makeup. Otherwise, I may as well not be wearing makeup. Let's be real. So, I am in the shade Porcelain, which I believe is either the lightest shade or second to lightest shade. It's down on the low range of stuff. Um, but I love this really great I usually apply it with a beauty blender and the next foundation I also apply with my beauty blender and it is the elf 
Oh, let me switch the cap around because I'm going to show you the really dirty side. <laughs> it is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This one has an SPF of 15 and it's oil free. And it's in the color porcelain as well. Um, but I love this foundation, guys. I think it's like maybe six bucks. But it's an awesome drugstore foundation. If you haven't tried this foundation yet, go to your drugstore and pick it up. Because it is definitely medium to full coverage. The smell is a little... Eh, it's not beyond strong, but it's like I can deal with it. It's not beyond potent, but kind of like a play doh type smell to it. I don't know. Um, but this is awesome for the price and the coverage it gives you. It doesn't cause me to break out. Um, like I said, this does have SPF 15. I don't believe... No, the Born on This Way, I don't think has SPF in it. Um, it's just oil-free. So if you want a foundation with SPF, this is a good one. But really, if you like this one, I'm 95% sure you'll like this one too. So, top two foundations. Next is blush. So, I have two. The first one is the Benefit Dallas blush. And I absolutely love this, guys. So this is my main color in the fall and winter this is what I was really wearing a lot but it is just so pretty it's like I don't know like you look at it in the box and you're like Ooh. like that looks like a boring color um but it's just so pretty it's like that mauve look so it goes with almost any makeup look that you do and I just love it when I always reach for this one or I'm reaching for this one and this is the Tarte Captivating Blush and this is from their Amazonian 12 hour line if you're not familiar with it but these blood like Benefit and Tarte are two of my favorite blush lines like they're just my favorite blushes so this is captivating so it's a nice like corally peach color And it's actually what I have on my cheeks today as well. So, yeah. Definitely loving this blush as well. Next is Contour Palette. I love the Shade and Light Palette. I got it this past year for Christmas. Like, I was way late to the bandwagon, guys. Like, beyond late. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. This is a really good palette. If you like contour and highlight, it will suit almost anybody and everybody. Like, it's awesome. So you have all your highlights and then all your contours. You can definitely see which ones I probably use the most right here. Uh, so use this one to contour, this one for, like, bronzing. And then I'll use this to set under my eyes. And if I feel like I want a little bit more of a brightness, I'll layer this one on top. Um... Sometimes I'll do this one, this one, and then this one, because this one will help with any purple colors, and then I use the banana, and then this one to brighten up. Um, hopefully in the summer, I can try this shade out. Um, I don't know. Eh, I, I probably have to use it as a contour. I don't think I would use it as a bronzer. That might be a little extreme. Um, but yeah, I've been loving this palette. Like, I seriously use this every single day. No joke. It's part of my routine. Next is highlighters. So, I have two favorites. Like, everything's just in twos. Um, but I really have been loving the Laura Mercier highlight in 01. And this is just a little, like, mini sample. Um, but this is going to take me forever to use. The big one's like twice this. Um, but it is just, I'm gonna make sure I don't have product on my finger. Um, it's just a gorgeous highlight. Like, if you're one of those people that want a highlight, but you don't want it to be like sparkly or like chunky, you just want like a glow within type highlight, this is the highlight you want. That will give you that look, the like glowing within, like awesomeness. Like, if I want an all-in-one, I'll grab the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. And I believe all these colors you can buy separate now. Don't quote me on the bronze to copper one, but I definitely know pearl and I 
champagne pop you can. But these are all the colors that come in it. So there's blushed copper, champagne pop, and pearl. I never wear pearl on its own. If I wear pearl, I'm mixing it with champagne pop. I will wear champagne pop on its own. And blushed copper, to be completely honest, I have really ever, I hardly ever reach for it. Um, this, if I do ever use it, I use it as a blush topper. So if I want a little bit of extra sheen or glow to my blush, like, it would look really pretty probably over Dallas, but I hardly ever reach for that. I'm either reaching for Champagne Pop or both of these mixed together. I do have Champagne Pop on its own, though, um, because it's just a gorgeous highlight. I don't know if they've made that permanent yet or not, but they'd be stupid if they didn't. Um, but the last item I have is an eyeshadow palette. And it was pretty easy. I mean, if I'm not make using Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I'm reaching for this palette. It's my go-to palette right now. And that's the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I love this palette. There's so many neutral great looks you can create with this. So I mainly will use either these two as my brow highlight. This one here, which is called Sweetheart. That gets used every single day, like in my upper crease area. And then I will go in with either Jet Setter or Smarty Pants, one of these two here, as my actual crease color. And then I really like to either use Rocker, Firecracker, or Funny Girl, which are these two or this one here as an all lid color. And then to deepen out an outer corner if I feel like it, I'll use these darker colors. Or I'll use the dark brown or the medium brown um, for my lower lash line. I am super bummed though because I did drop the poor thing. And of course like my favorite shadow in the whole entire thing broke. And that would have been Firecracker. It had a little mishap. Not gonna lie, it had a mishap. It fell on the floor. All right, and then I have two more favorites, and this one I've been, like, obsessed with. I used about half of it, and then I had to go out and buy the full size because I liked it that much, and it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, and this is just the little deluxe sample size. As you can see, I'm almost gone, um, but this stuff's really good. Like, I can tell my makeup lasts longer, so if you don't want to use, like, a silicone-type primer on your face or anything like that, this is a really good option. I really like it, so. And it doesn't smell bad. Yeah, it does smell bad. So, this is a win. And then the last op <laughs> option, <laughs> the last favorite is kind of different. It's not makeup. It's not skincare. It's totally random. And that is baby wipes. <laughs> and no, I do not have any kids. But I have been going through my makeup collection lately and like swatching a crap ton of stuff. Like comparing stuff, getting rid of stuff I don't use. And this has been a lifesaver. So if you swatch a lot and you don't want to keep using like makeup wipes or anything like that, invest in some baby wipes. I think I got this for like two bucks and it included the container and the baby wipes so all I have to do is go back out and buy the baby wipes and um, this is just the Equate brand from Walmart it has 48 wipes in it but they do the job because I swatched everything eyeshadows blushes lipsticks eyeliners you name it I swatched it went through my whole entire collection decluttered sorry no I did not de <laughs> film it um, because I did it like in random chunks. I have a bag sitting over there of stuff that I'm going to give away, get rid of. Um, yeah. So, my makeup's finally decluttered. I only own what I love, what I use. And I'm excited to do some tutorials for you guys. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure to leave down in the comments below what you guys want to see. Because I'm looking... Uh, for you guys to tell me because like I said I want to create content that you guys want to come back and watch so that being said this is my March favorites yeah March wait 
yeah sorry I get totally confused because Easter sometimes falls in March sometimes it falls in April and it's like can't keep track and especially with me not working now dates in particular uh, I'm lost because when I worked I had to know the date but now I'm just like oh it's Monday oh it's Tuesday <laughs> I have no idea what date it is unless I look at my phone so I'll see you guys in my next video bye